Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Proton VPN, showing you how to use it, take advantage of every little nook and cranny that Proton has to offer. If you guys do want to help support these objective kind of looks at VPNs, helping you to decide how to use it, if you should buy it or not, consider clicking on the link down below for uh, if you want to check out my uh, Secret Lab chair. I think it's a great chair and definitely worth checking out. Also, guys, if you haven't already decided to purchase Proton and you're looking to do it, if you click my link in the description down below, it'll also help support the channel. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the Proton VPN comparison. Let's get my Epic out of the way as let's get those things out of the way. All right, guys, so here's Proton. The cool thing about Proton, like Nord, is it has a pretty good, decent um, tutorial system. Basically, it shows you how to quick connect. Um, preferably, you could click up here and quick connect. Right now, we're using the free version of Proton, but it's going to be very limited in terms of speeds. If you're going to be using Proton VPN, I recommend the paid version since it's going to be much, much quicker. And Proton does have limitations to the free version, like not working with streaming compatibility and limited simultaneous connections and stuff like that. Additionally, you can also save your profiles and choose different countries. So overall, the the, the I would say that the, the tutorial system is kind of basic. I think NordVPN has a little bit better of a tutorial system, but you can kind of see the profiles here. And what we can do is create a profile and kind of pick a different uh, server, P2P, make a different color, pick a specific um, um, protocol and stuff like that, which is nice. So let's for, a, for example, a good one to do would be uh, WireGuard. And let's say uh, uh, user profile number one, we could do WireGuard country, and then we'd pick something that's close by us, something like this, and pick the fastest one and save that. And now, as long as we click down here, it's gonna connect to all those different settings. But it's not necessarily something you have to do unless you're specifically, I would say it's more if you're looking to um, kind of do different things, like tr try out the Tor mode and secure core. Uh, which is kind of kind of provide more anonymity, but not really much point to those I don't think unless you're truly trying to get super super anonymous But already, you know VPNs are pretty anonymous at least in terms of security um, But we could kind of look at the settings overall and these are basic things It'll start when you start your computer. This will start when it's um, the application is on so you start your computer Proton will boot up and then once Proton boots up, it's going to connect automatically So these are things you could kind of play around with depending on how you want to do it um, and you can also change where it click quick connects. You can even do it to your profile, which is nice. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can also change if it starts minimized or um, to taskbar, to system tray, etc., and customize the language, of course. Now, in my opinion, I would use WireGuard for the protocol. It's the best protocol, in my opinion. Um, we also have a couple different other options with OpenVPN, which is decent too, but a little bit older. VPN Accelerator is supposed to be make Proton a little bit quicker, but in my testing, it hasn't really done too much. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much. If you want to add a custom DNS, this could be cool for ad blocking and those kind of things um, to add a specific quad nine or something like that to um, do quad uh, ad blocking. But if you don't really know anything about that, you don't really have to use it. The good thing about Proton is that it does have these little helpful tips and it pretty much is explaining right there exactly what I just said. Um, in terms of the moderate NAT, This could be good if you're specifically trying to use Proton while gaming, but honestly, I wouldn't really recommend VPNs while gaming since they'll probably just only slow down your speed and there's really not too much point unless you're playing P2P servers and you're worried about getting DDoS or something like that, or you're trying to access a game beta, you might want to enable that. It could kind of help you with your connection. Finally, we could go to port forwarding, which is cool. Port forwarding is a feature that's going to be on the paid plan, and this can help optimize um, some of your torrenting and also it can be useful for games as well. We have this port forwarding shortcut, which can be accessed from the main settings. And I could go ahead and kind of show you that. Whoa! So you can kind of see those buttons like kind of right here, um, the kill switch. And then we also have uh, port forwarding, which is what I was talking about. So that's kind of cool. Now the kill switch specifically is gonna be something um, that is useful if you want to uh, make sure you're not leaking any IP, let's say Proton has some kind of error, it disconnects and if there is a kill switch enabled, it's not gonna leak any of your traffic. Um, we also have a couple other features to discuss. Um, I don't really see the kill switch as like a setting option, which is kind of odd. Usually it's in there, but primarily it's probably just working through this button. They've kind of minimized it being in the settings and put it over here. Um, so that's kind of interesting to see. You could probably put kill switch on if you're really worried about it, 
We also have some other capabilities here, like the secure core is, uh, this is gonna route your data through privacy friendly countries. I'm not really sure how useful this would be, honestly. Um, it also could re reduce VPN speeds too. So that's something to think about. And of course, NetShield is going to be um, blocking ads and malware. It's kind of like Proton kind of has these shortcuts to let you do these things if you want. Um, so if you're looking to block some malware and ads, you could pick these things. And like I said, Proton free version does paywall a lot of this stuff. So if you're looking to use Proton, I would recommend using my link and getting the paid version at least since you're going to be wanting to probably use some of these things, especially if you want to block ads and stuff. Um, so the kill switch is going to be good if you want to make sure you don't leak your IP if it gets disconnected somehow. Um, so the permanent kill switch, if the VPN is not connected for any reason, you won't be able to access the internet. So that's primarily going to be like, um, you'll only be able to use the internet when Proton is on. And then the kill switch here, if there's some error or disconnection, it will disconnect your internet. But once you close Proton, um, you're probably going to um, have internet access. So that's kind of an interesting thing they did there. And of course, the port forwarding, like I mentioned. But let's go ahead and finish up some of these settings here. Um, so we have DNS leak protection. Um, you could kind of just leave that alone for now. Um, alternative routing is going to be kind of like... Um, just kind of leave that alone. It can be useful for unblocking certain websites. This stuff is mainly for um, different leaks and stuff like that. And finally, split tunneling can be very useful if you want to use a VPN on certain things. Let's say you want to use Proton on Chrome. Um, or on QBitTorrent, but not on your video games, or flip it around. So that's kind of what split tunneling is for. It's like using your this VPN and routing specific apps through it. So that's very useful as well. Now, hardware acceleration. This is probably another thing on, that I would keep on unless you're having weird screen glitches. So I would just leave that alone. Anyways, guys, that's about it for Proton. Honestly, it, it, it doesn't have the best tutorial system, but the good thing about Proton, it does have very nice tool tips here that kind of explain every little setting. I hope I kind of helped you gain a little bit more understanding as well with the additional of these tool tips. If you guys need any help, let me know down in the description down below. Come check out my Discord as well, where you could find me discussing various VPNs. And if you want to help support the channel, check out Proton with my link. Um, or check out Secret Labs if you're looking for a sweet gaming or office chair. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.